Lord Stephen Hawking thought we stand at the threshold of important discoveries in all areas of science, without doubt our world will change enormously in the next 50 years. We will find out what happened at the Big Bang. We will come to understand how life began on our planet Earth. We may even discover whether life exists elsewhere in the universe. The question is, what is a planet anyway? This simple question does not have a simple answer. By the way, the data in this video is largely inspired from nasa.gov website. In addition, the animation in this video are just for visual and learning purposes only and do not reflect the realities and complexities of this topic. So please take it with a huge grain of salt back to the video. And thanks to thousands of years of observations and great scientists like Copernicus, Kepler, and Galileo, among many others, we now have a better understanding of our solar system. The most recent definition of a planet was adopted by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, in 2006. Quote, the word planet originally described wonders that were known only as moving lights in the sky. Recent discoveries led us to create a new definition which we can make using currently available scientific information. The IAU therefore resolves that planets and other bodies except satellites in our solar system be defined into three distinct categories in the following way. Number one, a planet. A planet is a celestial body that A, is in orbit around the sun, B, has sufficient mass for its self-gravity to overcome rigid body forces so that it assumes a hydrostatic equilibrium, nearly round shape, and C, has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Number two, a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet is a celestial body that A, is in orbit around the sun, B, has sufficient mass for its self-gravity to overcome rigid body forces so that it assumes hydrostatic equilibrium nearly round shape, C, has not cleared the neighborhood around its orbit, and D, is not a satellite. Number three, all other objects except satellites orbiting the sun shall be referred to collectively as small solar system bodies, end quote. So we have three buckets or three categories, a planet, a dwarf planet, and everything else called small solar system bodies. Today, there are eight primary planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Beyond Neptune, a new class of smaller worlds called dwarf planets reign, including long-time favorite Pluto, Thousands more planets have been discovered beyond our solar system. Scientists call them exoplanets. Exo means from outside. While we are talking about planets in our solar system, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned on what is coming next. In addition, you can check my courses like the Amazon Leadership Principle course or my course about an introduction about America and a lot more. Links in the description below. So the key difference between a planet and a dwarf planet is the kinds of objects that share its orbit around the sun. Pluto, for example, has not cleared its orbit of similar sized objects, while our planet Earth and Jupiter have no similar sized worlds on the same path around the sun. Like planets, dwarf planets are generally round and orbit the sun. There are likely thousands of dwarf planets waiting to be discovered beyond Neptune. Our understanding of the universe and our place in it has changed over time. New information can cause us to rethink what we know and reevaluate how we classify objects in order to better understand them. Discussions and debate will continue as our view of the cosmos continues to expand. You can learn more about planets at solarsystem.nasa.gov. And to quote John F. Kennedy, the 35th president of the United States from 1961 to 1963, quote, many years ago, the great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it? He said, because it is there. Well, space is there and we are going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there and new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Thanks for watching and goodbye.